Saluton, and welcome to Esperanto Explained. Today, I'm going to talk to you about one of my favorite affixes, mal. Mal is a prefix in Esperanto that literally just means the opposite of. And the reason it's probably my favorite is because with this one little prefix, mal, you can cut in half the words that you have to memorize. You don't have to memorize separate words for good and evil or good and bad. You can say bona, good, mal bona, bad, alta, tall, mal alta, short. Now, not all words have a clear opposite. Felicia is happy, but what's the opposite of happy? Is it sad? Is it angry? Is it neutral? It's not always a million percent clear what the opposite of a word is. You can't just say mal dancy and expect everybody to immediately understand what the opposite of dance is. But if you for some reason need to express that you want someone to do the opposite of dance, then you can still do that, which does make for some fun kind of jokes with friends sometimes. When you're wanting to say, no, no, ne, ne, ne dansu, mal dansu, don't dance, do the opposite of that. Whatever the opposite of dance is, because what's going on is not working. You can use mal with a lot of different words. It can be with adjectives like bona, mal bona, alta, mal alta. It can be with, uh, with verbs like dancey, mal dancey, dance or do the opposite of dance. Uh, you can turn adjectives into verbs. So, um, mal alta. Tiju, become less tall, become short. You can use mal to add on to other words and make complicated things and make up new words. And if you're not sure what the word you're looking for is, but you know a word that means definitely not that, if I don't remember the word resti, to stay, but I remember the word iri, to go, maybe I can, like, make something up and go mal iri? And it's not going to be the right word. It's not going to be resti. But using the prefixes and suffixes, using word parts like mal, you can supplement the words that you don't remember, and even if it's not the right word, people might be able to figure out what you mean. And that's really the goal here. The goal isn't to be flawless in every way. It's to be understood. And mal is one of the prefixes that can really help beginners make themselves understood kind of, even if they don't know all the words for everything they're looking for. That's all for today. Jeez!